Hi, this is Charlie from Path of the Bee. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build an inner cover for a beehive. Okay, so here's my plan. I'll show more of this at the end. Alright, so I'm using a scrap piece of 1x4. Um, it's 3 quarters of an inch thick. Here I'm squaring it off and cutting it to 19 and 7 eighths. You want to make sure that you use a piece of clear pine with no knots. I'm going to rip it here to an inch and five-eighths of an inch wide. <clears throat> the next step is to make a dado into it that's a quarter of an inch deep a quarter of an inch from the end. It ends up being an inch and an eighth wide. I only had the three-quarter dado head set up, so I just flip it around and do both sides. The next step is to just rip them in exactly in half which leaves two three-quarters of an inch pieces then again a piece of three-quarter pine that's clear with no knots I'm going to trim this to 14 and 3 quarters of an inch. Okay, then we're just going to rip half inch wide strips off of this piece. There's the last pass. Now we'll have all of our pieces cut. Okay, so now we're ready to assemble. I've gathered up everything that I'll need to put an inner cover together. I have the pieces that we just cut and the tempered hardboard 15 and 3 quarters by 19 and 7 eighths. I have a hammer, some 3 quarters inch nails. I have a few inch and a quarter nails, some good glue, uh, waterproof glue. This is an inner cover. It will be exposed to potential moisture from the brood chamber. Um, and so we want to use waterproof glue. In case I have an accident with the glue, I have a little cleanup cloth. How I assemble the cover is I start by putting a strip of glue in the wide plate on the wide groove that we cut in the little strip. Then I take the tempered hardboard, I set it on top of the glue strip that I just put down. And this edge should end up flush. That's how you know you have it set up right. And then we'll just proceed to nail it together. Okay, so when I nail the narrow ends, I try to offset on one end um, a nail a little bit from center so I could put my winter ventilation groove in in the winter side 
with the table saw after it's all put together. The next thing I do is I take an inch and quarter nail and I just give it a little extra strength I put here through the corner. Okay, now it's ready for the table saw. Okay, so here we're cutting the ventilation notch. I'm using a three quarter inch wide dado head that's adjusted to cut three eighths of an inch deep. I want a little wider than three quarter, so I'm going to readjust the fence here, make a second pass. Okay, so there's my ventilation notch. Okay, so here we have a completed inner cover with the winter ventilation groove. Um, I like to leave mine solid with no hole in them. Some people cut round holes in theirs for winter feed and some people put an oval hole in for bee escape. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed.